Hey there, it's John from Heroes and Legends, and today I have a Modern Masters box to open. It's the second one we've opened for the channel. First one was a very good box, and more importantly, we had no defects. Yay! <laughs> All our foils were there. Uh, no issues with the cards, so no extra foils. <laughs> so, so far, so good. All right, so let's get cracking here. packs out. Kind of mentioned in the first video, kind of gave a quick review of the actual packaging. I won't do that this time around, but if you're interested in it, head over and check out that video. And we'll just get going here. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, that's good. And we'll open our first pack. Get everything situated. So, first box was excellent. Pulled a lot of great stuff. Um, I won't bore you with it in case you've already watched it. Um, but if you haven't, check it out. Check it out because it was very good. Very good box. Let me zoom in just a little more here. All right. All right, so... This box so far, I mean, just opening this first pack, I don't see any issues with the cards, no fraying, so that's good. As I said, I talked a little more about it in the first box opening, so I won't kind of rehash the same stuff, but <laughs> obviously there were a lot of production issues with Modern Masters, but fortunately, so far so good. Um, Incandescent Soulstroke, Eshin Moore Gouger, Oblivion Ring, and our rare. Hey, Dark Confidant, so awesome pull. Very happy to have it. First pack right out of the gate. And I uh, don't want to overlook our Mad, what's this, Madka Riders foil? Sure. Um, so uh, Dark Confidant, awesome. One of the cards I really wanted from the set. I just really wanted one of those, like a Mox Opal. And I, spoiler alert, did get a Mox Opal in the first box if you haven't watched that video. So, Okay, I think I'm done with Modern Masters now, so <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll go ahead and open the rest of this box anyway. How about that? And uh, But yeah, I'm pretty happy. Got what I wanted. And I will say, you know, pulling a Mythic out of pack one is always a good sign because we've seen some weird collations with these cards. So hopefully that means there'll be many more Mythics to come. But there's nothing left now that I'm really like rooting for, I guess. And I said in my last video, you know, Tarmogoyf's cool, a foil Tarmogoyf. Hey, that'd be neat, but you know, it's not something I need to play with or anything like that. Get a remand, nice, uncommon. Dark Steel X, Demir Guild Mage, and our rare is a Scoop Mob. Good limited card, at least it was back in the day. Vines of Vastwood, so. Be interesting to see if it holds up though in a stronger environment than its original one. All right, Let's see what we got in pack three. But overall, I must say, you know, it, all the issues with the sets. I hate the fact that the packs are searchable. I think that was the biggest design flaw that I can't even imagine how that happened. <laughs> um, but the cards, I mean, the cards I pulled have been real good quality. No issues, no scratches, no real off-centering or fraying. So, hey, uh, first uncommon, oh, I missed an uncommon. I'm talking uh, Dagger Claw Imp, Quimlox, uh, Four Scale Codal, and our rare is an Endric Sayer Master Breeder. Cool. And we get a Gus Skimmer as our foil. Very cool. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, as far as these packs go, I mean, most boxes have three Mythics. We did get more than that. Well, we got three Mythics and a Foil Mythic in our last box, so that's good. And we also got two Foil Rares on top of that. So that was a really good box. Definitely can't complain. If you haven't watched that video, definitely check it out. The Foil Mythic is pretty epic. <laughs> um, I won't spoil it for you, but um, it was pretty cool. So yeah, we got some good stuff out of that box. and. It seems like three mythics have been average, but I have seen boxes with two opened on different channels. I've seen boxes with like five. Um, Stormblood Berserker, Everflowing Chalice. It's 
Selesnia Guild Mage, and our rare is an Apocalypse Hydra. It used to be a Mythic back in the day. Uh, Sickle Ripper is our foil. Yeah, so, you know, I've seen some epic boxes ripped. <laughs> I, you know, I would say the box we opened, I feel like, is one of the best I've seen. Um, I have seen better. There's some crazy ones out there on YouTube. Um, but I've seen many that are worse. <laughs> so, fortunately for us, we got one good box. And like I said, even if this box doesn't produce anything else great, I am very happy with the Dark Confidence. So, let's see what we get here. Um, Novagen Sages, World Hard Phoenix, Plex Caster Frogling, and our rare is hey, another mythic, Iona Shield of Ameria. Good one. This is a card that was creeping up in value quite a bit. Simic Growth Chamber. A lot of people want Iona banned from Commander. <laughs> uh, so that could happen. It's interesting. Primeval Titan is banned in Commander and Iona is not. I don't know. It just seems weird to me. But I don't get to play a lot of Commander. I really wish I could play more. That seems to be problem. I mean, honestly, if perfect world if I had all the time in the world and like lots of people to play magic with all the time <laughs> I probably would commander would probably be my game of choice um I do love sealed and draft those would probably be a close second but I really kind of want to play commander I don't know I've had a few opportunities but not many devouring greed Ashimura Gadger etched oracle and our rare is an ant queen and we got another foil rapid growth. We got one of those in the first box too. So it's very fine looking common in foil. It's one thing I mentioned in the last opening too. The foils do look nice. They look a little, um, a little shinier. I don't know what the right word is uh, than, than recent foils. They almost feel like they're from the vaults, but they, they're not curling or anything. So the foiling process looks pretty good. I mean, I realize there's issues with scratching on some of them and stuff but we have not encountered that. Um, yeah, so far just foils look very nice in this. And watching it open online, I kind of thought, I was like, wow, the foils look a little shinier, but I just thought maybe it was the lighting, but seeing them now in person, they are very nice. Expedition map, Hikari Twilight Guardian, Dismember, good uncommon, and our rare is a Creekwood Liege. And we get a Spear of the Sun foil. Pulled one of those in our last box too, so interesting. Um, maybe we'll pull another foil Karn or <laughs> something else. <laughs> foil Tarmogoyf? That's the big card, right? Foil Tarmogoyf. That's what we're looking for, right? Um, <laughs> LG, Garyl, Paleka Worm. Glass Dust Hulk, and our rare is a Hercules Recall. And we got a Foil Fortify. So, pretty cool. Good stuff. All right, I think that's a third of the way through. Let's try to move a little quicker through this box than we did the first one. First one, try to take a little extra time. We talked a little more about the packaging and stuff. But, um, I know you guys are here for the big pulls. <laughs> I've already pulled two mythics, so like I said before, it is a good sign. Usually that means there's more to come. Not to say the box is going to pitter out, but for the most part, if you see mythics early, they don't necessarily stop coming. Celestial Purge, Boros Swiftblade, Orzo Basilica, and our rare is a Precursor Golem. And we get Gorehorn Minotaurs as our foil. All right, slowed down a little bit since that Iona. But um, we haven't pulled, not that, I kind of mentioned in the last video, I mean, honestly, there's some, there's a lot of great cards in this set, you know, but there's some that I kind of wanted more than others. I mean, Dark Confident was an example of that. I mean, just personally, because they're cards I would play with. I mean, there's great cards like Noble High Arc, uh, Cryptic Command that would be cool to get, but not necessarily trying to build a deck with those or anything. Incandescent Soulstoke, Artisan of Kozilek, Oblivion Ring, and our rare is a Splinter Twin. So another good rare. Um, very popular card, obviously, for a very popular deck in Hunter. And Hikari Twilight Guardian is our foil. I haven't seen a foil rare yet, so. Last box, we pulled two and a foil mythic. 
not that these boxes, you know, are going to always have that, of course. Um, but I'd assume at least one foil rare is probably achievable. All right, Demir Aqueduct. Lightning bolts. Always cool to get lightning bolts. Shrewd hatchling and our rare is a low stone golem. And our mythic is oh very, or our foil is a ether snipe. Very good. I will say I do notice. Let me look at this a little closer. It does look like I see maybe a little bit of a one scratch. Unless that's a cloud. Hang on, let me sorry. Don't want me to bring the video to this. No, that is a that is a scratch. So I don't know if he, the camera can pick it up, but right here, there's a scratch in the foil. It looks like a man, it just looks almost like a crease in the actual foil. So it's just right there. First card I noticed, now granted I haven't inspected all the foils I've opened or anything, um, but that's the first time I've actually noticed something that is a little off. Now, how often does that happen in regular production? Quite honestly, I don't know, because I'm usually not looking for it, but interesting nonetheless so take it for what it's worth i guess <laughs> but overall we've opened quality cards it's like we haven't seemed to have any issues well i've never looked at the back of the cards for all i know they could say wyvern on them or something <laughs> so um, <laughs> maybe i should have checked but <laughs> all right scavenger drake is our first uncommon lg Gary, dark steel x and our rare is a chimeric mass and we get a copper carapace as our foil. So let me just look at that one a little closer. Yeah, I don't see any issues with this particular foil. It looks fine. It's just that ether snipe. Okay. So I think we're about halfway there or so right now. Um, right now, if you're keeping track, we got two mythics. Good ones, uh, but we haven't really pulled anything in the last number of packs here, so I think we're hopefully due for some hits now. <laughs> Alright, Golgari Rat Farm. Aethercast Knight. Bestial Menace, and our rare is a Guile. And our foil is a Goblin Fire Slinger. Guile's a good limited card. I mean, you, you do have to be pretty committed to blue. Uh, but there's color fixing lands in here and stuff, you know, so it's definitely achievable. One other thing I'd say about the packaging is I'm opening these. I mean, I talked a lot about it last video, so I won't go too much detail, but the cards are a little loose in there, which does make me feel if they maybe were shipped, you know, not carefully <laughs> and shaken up a lot, I could see where there could be some wearing on the sides of the cards. Um, luckily, like I said, we haven't seen that, but I can see it happening. Is it Boilerworks? Selesnia Sanctuary. Savage Twister, and our rare is a Ley Line of Sanctity. Very nice, and we get a rare um, foil and it's Precursor Golem. All right, so eh, not the foil rare you're necessarily looking for. <laughs> when there's things like Noble Hierarch, Cryptic Command, um, Splinter Twin, but eh, you know, most of your foils, unfortunately, uh, rares anyway, are probably not gonna be big hits. Um, when there's there's a few great big hits in here, but there's a lot of rares that just are kind of meh. <laughs> Good for limited though, and that's why they're here. All right, dispatch is our first uncommon. Bloodshot trainee, Sigil blessing, and our rare is noblest of war. And we got another Hikari Twilight Guardian for a foil. Go figure. All right, so pack in here so yeah this box like i said i'm happy with it because i really want the dark confidant i think iona is also a very nice pull uh, and i could see myself using that card as well uh, but i'm trying to think i might have actually had one of her in my in my uh modern urzatron deck i don't remember but you know since those two pulls, we haven't gotten a whole lot in this box. This box is kind of <laughs> a little bit of a letdown after the last box. Uh, Overwhelm, Reassembling Skeleton, Tumble Magnet, and our rare is a Necro Skitter, and we get an Instill Infection as our foil. All 
All right, we're getting down there. So still looking to find, gee, at least one more mythic um, minimally here in this box. So I mean, I'm glad if it wasn't a dark confidant, man, what if we pulled a comet swarm or something? <laughs> this would have been a really bad box. <laughs> um, <laughs> it could have been a comet storm and a, and a uh, Tezzeret or something like that, I guess. So can't complain too much, but, uh, but our last box was just so good. <laughs> um, no, Novagen Sages, a Vampire Outcasts, Necrogenesis, and our rare is a Thunderblast. And we get a foil, a South Bright Flamekin. I do have another box that I don't have in my possession yet, but it will be shipped. So I will open a third box on the channel. So if you haven't uh, had enough Modern Masters by that time, <laughs> got that to look forward to. So I don't know, I love opening, I love watching Modern Masters open, like even on YouTube, like I'll watch box pack openings and stuff for like old stuff. And I'll watch a new set like that first weekend it comes out. After that, I do get pretty tired watching the new set. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but these I never get tired of because there's just so many random crazy pulls. <laughs> Dispatch, spread of the sickness, or spread the sickness, electrolyze, and our rare is a long forgotten Gohi. And we get a Murr Enforcer. Okay, well, so far so good. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. So we're getting down there. Still expecting to see one more Mythic. Hoping it's not a comic store, Comet Storm. <laughs> um, just glad we pulled that Dark Confidant. I guess that in the beginning, I was kind of, I got what I wanted. <laughs> the last box opening, I got the other one card I really, really wanted. Maybe two cards I really, really wanted. And uh, this was the last card I really, really wanted. So um, I'm pretty happy. I got what I asked for, what I was looking for. I don't need foil tarmogoyfs or anything like that. <laughs> It'd be cool for the channel. It might be cool just for uh, <laughs> uh, those purposes, but so you guys can see it, but yeah. It's not anything I need. Anyway, oops, I'm talking through the the uncommons. Uh, Mersmith, <laughs> Drilling Grudian, Gru 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 Spectral Possession, and Noble High Arc. Okay, that starts to make up for things. So nice rare pull there with Noble High Arc. And we also got a Wings of Velis Vel Foil. So nice looking Noble High Arc. Very awesome pull. Love it. So starts to be between Dark Confident and Noble High Arc and Iona. Nah, I guess I can't say it's a bad box. <laughs> we got five packs left counting this one, and I'm expecting at least one more mythic. I mean, it's, you do sometimes only get two mythics, um, but it's pretty rare, and usually you get three. I kind of feel like there's maybe one more big. This box might have one more big surprise in it. I'm just feeling the vibe. Uh, we'll see. So maybe it's that foil Ugin I've been looking for. Um, the Zorius Chancery, <laughs> Cytoplast Rootkin. Rakdos Carnarium, and our rare is a Wolf Briar Elemental, and we get a Foil Wrecking Ball. Sure, sure. Okay, four more to go. Like I said, I'm feeling a good vibe. There's one more big surprise left this box has for us. I know it. Last box was really good, though. <laughs> really good. Just kept hitting and hitting and hitting. Um, you know, and, and a lot of the cards in the last box were cards that I could see myself playing with. So I guess maybe that made it a little more exciting as well. All right. We got a Scavenger Drake, a Mall Drifter, always good. And we got an Upside Down card. Um, okay, Agony Warp. <laughs> That's strange. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a Magic pack, but all right. And it's cut, it was my imagination, or is it, maybe it's okay. So I'm gonna say it looks a little cut off, um, off center too, but maybe not. Let me know if you think it is. <laughs> and we got our Sun Forger is our rare, which is a nice rare. Oh, there you go. There's the surprise. Uh, Kiki Jiki Foil. That's, kind of, that's real nice looking actually. So there you have it. Uh, very nice. So I knew this box had one more, one more shocking surprise in it. So that's a third mythic. Now it's a foil. So maybe we'll get lucky and get one more regular mythic. Um, between the Kiki Jiki foil 
the Dark Confidant, the Iona, and the Noble Hierarch, this box all of a sudden just got a lot better. <laughs> so I can't say I am upset at all with that. So Kiki Jiki's, you know, a fun card. I'm not planning on playing like Splinter Twin or anything, but it's a good cube card. That might be a nice card if I one day build a cube, which I'd like to do, maybe use that. Uh, so we'll see. But nice pull, happy with that. Tajnar Swordsmith, Expedition Map, Boros Switchblade, and our rare is Overwhelming Stampede. And our foil is a Burst Lightning, which is actually pretty cool. A very nice looking foil. All right, two more packs. Kind of open for one more Mythic. But like I said, that, that's pretty pretty big box. I mean, this box went from kind of being meh to, yeah, they kind of put it over into good box range, I think. Now one more super pull would be like turning into a great box. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> a lot to ask, I know. All right. And our first uncommon is Bloodshot Trainee, Pillory of the Sleepless, Orzov Basilica, and our rare is a Wilt Leaf Leash. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice pull right there. I'll take it. <laughs> so very good card, very pricey card. And our foil is Sunspear Shikari. All right, last pack for the day anyway. And like I said, I do have one more box coming and I might end up with some loose packs or something. At some point, I'm sure I will. <laughs> so there'll be more to come, no doubt, no doubt for Modern Masters, uh, but very happy. I feel like I was able to open some nice boxes for you guys, actually some good pulls. So i um, very happy with what we got and I'm very happy that there was, with the exception of that one kind of scratch card, everything has been good in these boxes. So. Not bad considering. Um, hey, if you haven't had a chance yet to to uh, subscribe to the channel, definitely a good time to do so. Uh, we'll have more Modern Masters coming. I got some other openings. I have just a lot of content. Big The big news will be Magic Origins. We've already started Magic Origins spoilers, unofficial leaked spoilers, I guess. And we have more on the way. And we'll be doing daily spoiler updates when spoiler season starts. And then we'll go right into the set review as we did for Modern Masters of Dragons of Dark here. So, Definitely uh, don't miss any of that as it comes out. We'll try to get the information to you as quickly as possible. All right, Boris Garrison, Carplusion Strider, Mortipod, and our rare is a Hellkite Charger. Oh, maybe we get a good foil to go out on. Uh, a combust, eh, okay. Um, but hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And have a great day. I'm back with an epilogue. Um, <laughs> So as I was starting to pick up the cards, I noticed there's actually some pretty severe scratches on this Combust. Um, and I'll look through as I kind of uh, put the cards away and stuff and let you know if I find anything else, at least in the comments. But uh, I don't know if it, you can pick it up in the camera, but there is a, I don't know if I want to call them scratches as much as they just look like lines in the foiling, kind of like we saw in the Ether Snipe, but they're going a different direction. This time they're going up and down. So relatively minor uh, compared to if they hit the light just right. And I don't know if I do this with inspect more of these foils. Yeah, this one's pretty scratched up actually. It looks like it's almost like scuffed like right through here. Um, and even down at the bottom. So I don't know. We should probably look at the Kiki Jiki maybe a little closer as well. Since that was really the one of value that we pulled. So here's the Kiki Jiki. I'm trying to get it in the light. Now this one looks fine to me. I don't see, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this one, which is good because this is the more important one, obviously. <laughs> yeah, this one looks very nice actually. Um, no scuffing, no issues. But you know, so you know, just upon very light inspection out of the out of this particular box, we did see two different foils that were scuffed up or scratched. So, it's relatively common, although that was the only real like manufacturing error that we saw. So, I guess it definitely could be worse. And uh, yeah, but I just wanted to show that to you um, since I saw it as I was uh, picking up the cards. So, hey, have a great day. 
Hey, thanks as always for watching. If you're still looking for quality Magic the Gathering videos, click on one of these annotations. And if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the breaking MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, crazy product openings, or gameplay videos on Heroes and Legends MTG. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.